In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this Christmas decoration using Python code. Now to get started on this project today, we're going to jump over to our Python editor. I'm using Mew, but you can use whichever one you prefer. And our first line of code today is simply going to say from turtle import star, or the asterisk. And that's just saying we're going to import all the different functions from the turtle module in Python, which will allow us to draw different pictures and shapes on the screen. Uh, the speed we're going to draw at today is going to be set to speed 0, which means we're drawing at the fastest speed possible. Uh, the first thing I'm going to put in on my screen is the background colour. So I'll just put a little comment there with a hashtag that says background, just to explain what's going on. And we're going to set our BG colour, which is the background colour, to indigo today. And I'm going to save where I'm at now. So I'm going to call this decoration. And I'm going to run that program. And you can see we've got an indigo or a purpley colored background. So that's a good start. This little black arrow in the middle of the page is our turtle. I know it doesn't look like one, but that's the little um, arrow or turtle that is going to be drawing the images on our screen. So the next thing we're going to start on is the chain that would hold up the um, decoration on the Christmas tree or a little bit of string, whatever you want to call it. I'll just call it a chain um, in the comments. So I'm going to lift my pen up off the page because we're going to move to a set of coordinates to get started here. I'm going to stick with zero on the x-axis, but I'm going to move up the page. So I'm going to set my y value to 250, which will take me up near the top of the page. Once in position, I'm going to put my pen down and change my color here to dark khaki. A lot of K's in that. Hopefully I've spelt that right. Dark khaki. Yeah, there, looks about right. Uh, we're going to set our pen size to something a bit thicker. So we're going to go with size 10. It's set to size 1 by default. So the thicker the line, uh, sorry, the bigger the number, the thicker the line's going to be. We're going to turn right 90 degrees and then move forward 100. So that will just have us facing down the page and we'll move 100 steps down the page. Let's have a look at that. There we go. So we've got our dark khaki color starting at 0, 250 and then heading down the page. 100 steps and that's all we're going to do for the chain just something simple like that All right, so moving down the page a little bit further We're going to um, put a little attachment at the end of the chain that attaches the chain or the string to the decoration itself so I'll just put a comment in and call it attachment And we'll change our pen size back to one We're going to turn right 90 degrees and we're going to go back 20 steps and then we're going to begin our fill, because we're going to fill this shape in. We're about to draw a little rectangle. So to do that, we'll do a loop. So for I in range 2, we know rectangles have two sides that are equal. So we'll repeat the following code two times. So we're going to go forward 40, left 90 degrees, and then forward 10, and then left 90 again. And that will draw us a rectangle, because these four lines of code here will be repeated two times. Okay, so that will give us four sides and a little rectangle. Uh, jump out of that loop by just pushing your cursor back to the left hand side of the page and end the fill off. And that should draw a little rectangle which is going to be also khaki in color at the bottom of that chain. Alright, so our decoration looking good so far. We might draw the big circle part now. I think they're called a bauble. So we'll put in a comment here that says red bauble and we'll bring our pen up again because we're going to move to some new coordinates we're going to stick on the zero for the x-axis so in the center of the page and we're going to go up again from the center just not as far as we did before so 140 up the y-axis we're going to move once there we'll put our pen down we'll set our color to crimson which is a kind of reddish color um, we'll turn our fill on by Writing begin fill and we'll draw a circle. Our circle is going to be 200 steps in radius and then we'll end our fill off. So that should just draw us a red or a crimson circle on the page that comes in just beneath the chain that we've already drawn. So you can now start to see our decoration coming together. Okay, so that's looking good. Uh, moving down from the red bauble, we're going to do a little pattern on the um, bauble now. It's going to be a gold zigzag. So let's put in a comment that says gold zigzag. 
And like we've been doing, we'll lift our pen up. And we'll go to 176, just to be precise, on the x-axis, and 30 for the y-axis. Our pen goes down once we're in position, and we're going to set our colour to another Christmassy kind of colour, which is gold. And we'll put our pen size, probably set it about 3, so it's just a little bit thicker than usual. Um, we're going to go left 45 degrees here to get to our starting position. And I'm ready to go. So to draw a zigzag, I'm just going to create a loop that draws some lines going up and down on a diagonal um, slope. So let's write for I in range 5. We're going to repeat this little zigzag pattern 5 times. And it's going to be forward 50, right 90, forward 50, left 90. And if we repeat those four lines of code five times, we should get ourselves a little zigzag pattern going across the decoration. So let's have a look. There we go. So all we did was drew one line down and one line up. That was the code we wrote, and then we repeated it five times. So you can see we've got the five loops there to create that first zigzag. Now next thing I want to chuck in are some little circles. So I'm going to put in a comment that says green circles. I'm sticking with the Christmassy colours here, that's why I've gone with green. I'm going to lift my pen up and I'm going to go to minus 160 and minus 65 for my coordinates. My pen's going to go down. I'm going to set my colour to lime green. And I'm going to turn left 135 to make sure I'm just facing the right way to draw these circles. Okay, so we're going to begin our fill because we want these circles coloured in. And again, we're going to do a loop to draw these circles. We're not just going to draw one, we're going to draw five of them. So let's create a loop. So for I in range 5, it's just telling me we're going to repeat the following code five times. And we're going to write circle 10. So that creates a circle with a 10 step or 10 pixel radius. We'll lift our pen up, move forward 80 steps, put our pen down, and we'll repeat that code. So we're just drawing a circle that's 10 steps in radius. We jump up and move across the page 80 steps, put our pen down, and repeat that again. So we get five circles next to each other. Before we finish off, just end that fill outside of the loop. Remember everything that is indented, that means it's got a bit of a space at the start of it here, it means it's part of a loop. So it, the computer knows that these four lines of code need to be repeated five times, but anything after it that's not indented, that means it's outside of the loop and it doesn't need to be repeated. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here. Got our zigzags and we've got our green dots in, they are looking good. Uh, probably time for another zigzag beneath that. So. Let's make a bit of room at the bottom of our page here. And we'll put in another comment that says gold zigzag. I'll put the number two next to it. Okay, we'll do the usual where we put our pen up and we go to a new set of coordinates. This time it's going to be minus 185, so we're heading to the left of the page. And minus 135, which brings us down towards the bottom of the page. Our pen goes down once we're there, our colour is going to change back to gold. Pen size changes back to 3. Actually, do we need to change that? Probably don't need to change that pen size, I might just leave that out. And we're going to turn left 45 degrees. Um, so we're going to create a loop now to do the zigzag again. So it's another 4 iron range 5. Very similar to the code we did before. It's going to be forward 50. Right 90, forward 50, and left 90. And don't forget at the end, actually no, that should probably do it. We're not filling this one in, so let's have a look. Okay, so we didn't quite get that last little bit working there. So what we're going to have to do is just extend that line. You can see the turtle's already facing the right way. I'm going to extend that line out a little bit so it reaches the edge of the decoration. The loop wasn't quite enough. I think if we loop it one more time, it's going to go too far. So let's just go forward 35 steps. Okay, that comes outside of the loop. Let's just have a look to see if it does finish that yellow zigzag off. 
Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so got our zigzags, got our circles done. Um, what we might throw in now is another Christmas kind of shape, some little stars. Okay, so let's put in a comment and we'll say stars at top. We're going to put them at the top of the decoration. So we'll lift our pen up and we'll go to oops, minus 105 on the x-axis. So moving to the left of the page and we're going to go up 80 steps towards the top of the page. Put our pen down once in position. We will reduce our pen size back to 1, so the default small size. The colour we're going to use for our stars are a whitish, or even a light blue kind of colour. It's called Alice Blue. And I'm going to use a block of code called Set Heading now. And I'm going to set it to 0. You actually choose uh, what direction you're heading. So if you actually write Set Heading and open up your brackets, you get some um, information down here which we can't even see in full at the moment but it does tell you zero degrees has you facing out towards the right if you set yourself to 90 degrees I think you're facing north um, 180 is probably out to the left so west 270 is probably south I think that's what it is but I'll have to look that up anyway we're going with set heading zero which means we've got our turtle facing to the right okay now we're gonna Draw three stars, so we're going to make a loop that says for I in range three. And we're going to turn our fill on, so we're colouring these stars in. Now to draw a star, we're going to create a loop as well. Another for I in range here, and we're going to do five, because our star has five points on it. We're going to go forward 30, and we're going to turn right 144 degrees to draw that star. Once done, jump out of that. Um, star loop and end your fill and that should draw the first of the stars just there if we repeat it though they're all going to be drawn on top of each other so we need to tell the computer to just move along to the right a little bit each time we draw a star so quickly lift your pen up go forward about 90 steps and then put your pen down okay so that just puts a little gap between each star so let's give that a test run. Looks good. So three stars across the top there with the 90 step gap between each of them. Um, heading down, we'll do the stars at the bottom of the page now. So it's going to be similar codes. So let's write stars at bottom. Now we could probably do a copy and paste job here, oh, just to save on getting confused. We won't copy and paste, let's just write it. So, pen up and go to, so we're going to minus 105 and minus 180, so to the left of the page and down towards the bottom of the page. Put your pen down when you're there. Um, we'll put our set heading back to zero to make sure we're still facing out to the right. I'm not sure if we are or not at the moment, so just to be safe, I'll put set heading to zero. And we'll create that loop of three again, so we get three stars. We'll turn our fill on, and then we'll create the loop for the stars. So for I in range five, we're going forward 30, and we're turning right 144 degrees. Jump out of that star loop, end your fill off, and remember we're doing our pen up, forward 90, and pen down just to put that little 90 step space between each of the stars and that should give us our second row of stars if we test him out we've got our top row and we've got our bottom row so that's the decoration done on our um, design what we might do now is just throw a little message at the top that says something like season's greetings and we'll hide this little turtle so we can't see it and we will be done so quickly going down to the bottom here Let's throw in a message, so I'll put a comment that says message. We'll move our turtle into the right coordinates at the top of the page, so we'll go to minus 180, so to the left hand side of the page, and 270, which puts us right up near the top. We'll put our pen down once there, and change our colour to white. Now to write on the page, we use the word write, and in quotation marks and brackets, just write your message. So I'm just going to write seasons, greetings, close my quotation marks off. Now if you want to edit that font you can just by putting a comma and you can write font equals and inside some brackets 
and quotation marks. Pick your font. I'm just going to stick with the basic Arial font, but feel free to choose something a little fancier. Um, I'll set it to size 24 and I will make it bold. Make sure you close off two brackets at the end of that line. And you're finished. So the final line of code is just to hide that turtle so we don't see that little turtle shape uh, when we draw our design. So let's give it a test run. Whoops. There we go. So we know the patterns all look good down here. The message is pretty much smack bang in the center of the page. And we have our little uh, bauble decoration Christmas card, I guess you'd call it. So have a good Christmas and I'll see you in the next video.